internet, electronic mail, email. Objectives After completing this chapter, you will be able to Understand about email and its programs. Learn about the parts of an email message. Learn common email terms. Create email account and learn email etiquette. For hundreds of years, people have been using various means to communicate with each other. Today, email has become one of the most popular sources of communication. Email or electronic mail Email is the most popular service of internet. It enables us to electronically exchange messages with other internet users wherever they may be. Today, almost anyone who has internet access also has access to email. So, theoretically, you can communicate with any internet user in the world. This versatility has made email one of the most popular internet services. History of Email Ray Tomlinson developed the first email application for the ARPANET in 1971. Consisting of a program called SNDMSG for sending mail and a program called Read Mail for reading mail. In 1980s, such messages were exchanged between computers in offices and universities that had been linked together. By 1990, email had gone worldwide and today our lives without email seem incomplete. Email versus Postal Mail Email Switch on the computer and log into your email ID. Just type the email address, compose your message and press the send button. Email would be delivered in seconds or in minutes. Postal Mail First get a headed note paper and write your message in it. Find an envelope and paste the stamp on the envelope. Now, go to the post box to drop the letter. Postal mail could take three to four days or even more to be delivered. Advantages of email Email is extremely fast. You can receive an email message in a matter of seconds after it has been sent, irrespective of the geographical location of the sender and the recipient. Email is convenient because you can send it anytime and your recipient does not need to be at his or her computer or even connected to the internet. You can send a message to a group of people free of cost, quickly and easily. You can send documents, graphics, sound or any kind of file as an attachment along with your email. Email is very economical because you do not have to pay to send email messages no matter where in the world you send them. Email saves your money because you can send a message instead of making a long distance phone call. Email programs You can create, send, receive and manage an email message by using different programs such as Windows Mail, Outlook, Hotmail and Gmail. The message can be a simple text or can include an attachment such as a word processing document, a graphical image, an audio and or a video clip. Email account. You must have an email account to use email service. Email account is provided by the companies which provide email service such as yahoo.com, gmail.com etc. This account gives you a unique email address to which others can send messages. Every email account comes with its own email address. An email address is a set of characters that uniquely identifies the location of your internet mailbox. Email address You can send email messages anywhere around the world if you have an email address. All email users have their own unique email addresses. The messages are sent to the correct recipient because of the uniqueness of the address. Parts of an email address An email address is a combination of a username and a domain name that identifies the user uniquely. The username and domain name are separated by at the rate symbol, which means add. Your username is a unique combination of characters that identifies you and it must differ from other usernames located on the same mail server. 
your username is sometimes limited to eight characters and is often a combination of your first and last names, such as the initial of your first name and your last name. Domain name is separated into two parts by a period. The first part is the name of the service provider, such as Yahoo, Gmail, etc. The second part depicts the type of website, for example, .com means commercial, .gov means government, etc. An email address cannot use commas, spaces or brackets. However, hyphen and underscore can be used. Elements of an email program Inbox Inbox stores all your incoming messages. Outbox It stores outgoing messages that have not been sent. New Compose Clicking this button allows to write a new email message to someone. Reply This button allows you to send a reply to someone who has sent you an email. Reply to all Sometimes you receive an email of which you are not the only recipient. Pressing this button allows you to reply to all the email addresses from that email. Forward This button helps you forward a received message to someone else. Send Pressing this button sends the message that you have typed in your email server. Delete This button allows you to delete the selected messages. Print This button allows you to take a printout of an email if your system is connected to the printer. Sent mail. Sent mail stores all the outgoing messages that you have sent. Attachment. It is used to send a file prepared in any program with your email. Spam or junk. Email stores messages in this folder that the email program considers to be unsolicited commercial mails. Drafts. It stores messages that you saved but have not yet finished composing. Parts of email message. While sending or receiving an email, you should understand several parts of the message, like from, to, cc, bcc, and subject. From. It refers to the person who is sending the email message. His or her email address is written in this section. To. The email address of a person who shall be receiving the email message should be written in this section. Cc. CC stands for carbon copy. It is an exact copy of the message, the email address of a person who is not directly involved but you would like the message to be sent to him or her too, should be written in this section. BCC BCC stands for blind carbon copy. You can take the help of BCC if you want to send the message to several people without showing them that others have also received the same message. Subject A very short description of your message is written in this section. For example, if you are sending a resume by email, you can write resume in this section. Common email terms there are some email terms that you can use while composing the email messages. Smileys You can use special characters called smileys or emoticons to express emotions in messages. These characters resemble human faces if you turn them sideways. Abbreviations Abbreviations are commonly used in messages that you can use to save time while typing. Some of the common abbreviations are given alongside AISI, as I see it, AS, another subject, ASAP, as soon as possible, B4N, bye for now, BAK, back at keyboard, BBIAB, be back in a bit, BBL, be back later, DC, take care. Shouting, a message written in capital letters is annoying and hard to read. This is called shouting. Always use a combination of upper and lower case letters while typing messages. Bounced message. A message that returns to you because it could not reach its destination is called a bounced message. A message usually bounces because of mistake in typing an email address. So make sure that you check the receiver's email address for accuracy before you send the message. Signature. You can add your unique signature at the end of every message you send through an email program. Attachment 
Most email messages consist of only text, but you can also attach some other types of information, such as a photo, a spreadsheet file, or a word processing document to share. When you attach a file and send the message, the file or information is sent along with the email as attachment. Creating an email account. Electronic mail or email is used to send messages electronically from one place to another. But to use this facility, you need to get registered with an email service provider to get your unique email ID. Creating an email account in Gmail. Following other steps to create an email account in Gmail. Open browser and enter the web address www.gmail.com in the address bar. Gmail sign-in page will appear on the screen. Click on the link Create Account in the sign-in page to open Gmail registration form. Firstly, enter your first name and the last name in the form and then enter the desired username. If someone else has already taken the same username, a message will appear Someone already has this username. Try another. It shows you the possible alternates from where you can select the new username. Once your username is selected, enter a password of minimum 8 characters with a mix of letters, numbers and symbols. Repeat the same password in the box called Confirm Password. Fill the rest of the entries in the form as they are asked. And finally, click the button I accept or continue to Gmail. If all the entries are correctly added by you, you will get a confirmation for your new account. And now your new email address is username at the rate gmail.com. Sending and receiving email in Gmail. After creating the email account, you can share it with your friends and relatives to send you email messages and to read your incoming mails. Follow these steps to check your mails using your login ID and password. Open web browser once again and enter the web address www.gmail.com in the address box. Click on go button or press enter key to open Gmail sign-in page. Click in the username box and type your user ID. Make sure that the letters are typed in the same case as they were typed while creating the account. Click on next. Enter the password in the password text box, which appears in the form of black dots or asterisks. Click sign in button to open your mailbox. It will show you the list of all your incoming mails. You can now click any one of them to open and read the contents of that mail. Click inbox button for coming back to your mailbox. To send an email, click compose button to open compose mail page. In the to box, write the email address of your friend, relative or the one to whom you want to send the mail. Write the subject and then type the message in the space provided. Click on send button. Your mail will be sent to the recipient instantly. Close your mailbox by clicking the sign out button. Attaching a file in Gmail. Most email messages consist only of text but you may attach other types of files like photo, spreadsheet file, word processing document, etc. in your mail. When you attach the file and send the message, the file is sent along with the email. Click the Compose button to open New Message window. In the To box, write the email address of the one to whom you want to send the mail. Write the subject and the message in the space provided. Click on Attach Files button. The open dialog box appears. Click the file you want to attach and then click on Open. Gmail attaches the file to the message. Click on Send button. Your mail will be sent to the recipient with the attachment. Email etiquette. While sending a message through email, we must follow certain etiquette. Your message should have a subject line that conveys its content clearly. The email message should not be in capital letters. You may use smileys for casual comments and abbreviations for phrases. Take care of what you write in an email message as it is not always private and can mistakenly be sent to the wrong person.
open only those email attachments that come from trusted sources. Do not click on web links sent by someone you do not know. If you use a public computer for email, make sure to sign out. If you suspect an email to be spam, do not open or respond. Just delete it. Exercises 